You have the equipment, you have the drinks, and you have the mixers, but you need to know how much of everything to use. You need to know about parts. Yes. I'm Rico, this is Absolute Drinks with Rico. Okay, so what is a part? A part's actually a bit of a bane of my life, and asking what a part is is like asking how long is a piece of string. You guys decide, you at home, you decide what a part is. This measurement here can be a part. This can also be a part. So anything that can hold other things? Exactly, anything that can hold other things can be a part. Whatever you say is one part, you go from that. So if it's one part of this, and then it says one part, two parts, it's one of this, and then two parts of this. Does that make sense? That makes sense, that seems fairly straightforward. So now I'm going to use several parts using this little jigger, and we're gonna make a white Russian. We're actually gonna build this directly into the glass, um, and you're gonna be able to see exactly what parts are. We're gonna use the top area, of the jigger to equal one part. But we're also gonna use a very old school and traditional ratio for drinks. It's the 2-1-1 formula. A lot of drinks are made with 2-1-1. 2-1-1. Um, and we're gonna come back to that actually for the next section. Okay, so, cool. So. We're gonna add first the best coffee liqueur on earth, the Kahlua, and we're gonna add just one part to that. Ooh. That's tasty. So there we go. Again, just one part of absolute vodka. We're gonna ice this glass up now. Ooh. And next, we're gonna add two parts of cream. Uh, what I like to do, is just an extra little tip, is I like to give it a little slight whip of the cream. So stick it into any jar, make sure that it's a sealed jar, and just shake it in the jar. Ooh, we've got a little splash back. Now, Rico, there's places that use milk and stuff. Um, you can use milk. I just want to create a much more luxurious drink right here because I'm sitting at home and I want a little bit of luxury in my life and heavy cream will just elevate this drink up. Especially with this light whip in there. We like a light whip. A light whip. As you're shaking it, you will literally be able to hear it like thicken up. There we go. And then we want two parts in. We'll go one, two. Now you can leave your drink laid like this, but for me, it kind of looks like some cheesy 80s, 90s style bar concoction. I just like to give it a stir. I think it just looks a lot better. There you go, the white Russian, two, one, one. That's two cream, one absolute vodka, one Kahlua. Parts. Why is it called a white Russian? Is it because it's from like Russia originally or because it has vodka in it? We're gonna make the sea breeze really simple. And this is a perfect example of people that don't understand what parts are. The agency actually believe that this drink is a 2-1-1 drink, but it's not. So we're gonna do this real simple and count the parts with them so that they too understand parts. All right, agency. This is also a drink that we're gonna build directly into the glass. We're gonna start with some ice, actually. Let's, let's get this cooked. Cut. Making so much mess. You can edit it out in post. They always say they're gonna edit out in post. They never do, they just make me look bad. Okay, so we're gonna use this as the parts. We're gonna do two parts of absolute original vodka. So that's one, two. Next up, two parts of cranberry juice, fresh. Okay. I juice these fresh every morning, Indy. Yeah? Nope. Okay. Now we're gonna do freshly squeezed pink grapefruit juice. Can you see that, guys? Yeah. That's four parts. Not two, one, one, two, two, four. Okay, agency. Wait, those are the same thing. Is it Dave? Is it really? Yeah, 422-211. Those are the same numbers. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go super 80s with this. One nice big lime wedge. We're gonna give it a squeeze, drop it in, the sea breeze. So there was actually another drink in the 1920s which contained uh, gin and grenadine, which actually went under the name sea breeze also. 
Wait, uh, like the 1920s, but that was like that was during prohibition, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. During prohibition, the sale of alcohol was pr uh, prohibited. Blah, blah, blah. Banned. Prohibition was when the sale and manufacture of alcohol in the United States was actually banned. 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 Just adding Fs onto the end of words. Is it there. like because of the gap in the teeth there? Is that why it doesn't? No, that? that's usually why it whistles. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Prohibition was when the sale and manufacture of alcohol was banned in the United States. And that gave rise to the bootlegging gangsters that we know and love. I know. We don't love them. Many of them were bloodthirsty criminals. But Prohibition did lead to the creation of another drink, which also has many parts. <laughs> the Long Island iced tea. So, we're gonna make a drink today. We're gonna use this little shot glass just so you can visually see the parts because this drink has half parts in it. So we're gonna start with our tin. Cheapest ingredient first, always. We're gonna add in one part lemon juice. Next, we're gonna get our one-to-one -one simple syrup. We're gonna add one part. And then this is where we go with the half parts because this does not contain five shots of liquor. We're gonna go with Half part tequila. It was just something I heard once, whispered, on a moonlit night. Half part of triple sec. No, just because people think that they see the five liquors in the drinks recipe and just think it's like five whole measures of liquor, but it's not, that would be ridiculous. We're gonna go with half a part of the Havana rum, half a part of beef eater gin, half a part of beef eater gin. I could hardly talk then, mate. And last but not least, absolute vodka. We're gonna put half a part in. Go. And that's everything. Now the only thing we need to do, shake this up. Why are we not building this? It's actually, it's not about not building it. It's about not layering it. Okay. This drink was made during Prohibition. It's supposed to look like a, like an iced tea. It was meant to disguise the feds. Okay, next we're gonna get the ice in. I'm gonna give that a good little shake. Oh. We're gonna ice up this glass. Hawthorne. Fine strainer. What is it that's being strained out in the fine strainer? Ice, little bits of lemon that might be in there. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we're going to add just a half part of cola. And then give it a stir. And it looks like a glass of iced tea. It, it, it genuinely does. Huh, I did not know that story. That's really cool. Mm. Even though it is a prohibition drink, we want to make it look a little bit 80s. We're going to stick a little wheel on that bad boy for some nostalgia. The Long Island iced tea. You know, my grandparents were from Long Island. You know what they call this in Long Island? What? Iced tea. Okay. So once you know all the parts, you can make drinks for all your friends and they will always turn out exactly the same. All right, that's it for today. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. If you'd like to see how to make some easy drinks, just cr click right here. And also don't forget to subscribe to never miss an episode. Hey Rico. Yes, Cindy. My montage wasn't a gangster montage, it was a 20s montage.